you know, there's certain places you go to, and as soon as you step out of the van and smell the air, everything kind of slows down and history kind of surrounds you and you feel it and you yourself slow down and uh opelika is one of those places so she smiles at me lovingly and says just let me hold your hand so far it's the only way i can let myself be heard because she makes most people don't talk enough about how lucky they are we've got a lot of great supporters um, that you know are the reason why we're able to come on this trip and but aren't with us and so we wanted to be able to take them on the bus with us so that's a lot of what we're doing is trying to capture the experience not just for um, for use in, in marketing but we also want to show the people uh, back in our hometown that have been so good to to support this movement um, wanted to bring them on the bus and let them experience it with us whoa, whoa. South by came out of us brainstorming the studio and, and how we could promote it and and with all that you know we realized that the bigger bigger picture is really promoting our city and you know Cottonseed is the one that's doing that but but you know that, that's where the idea came was what better place than to go to South by to introduce our city and our studio now we're we're hanging at the Billy Reed party and there's uh you know some of the best bands from the south hanging out here and and you know everyone's just drinking beers and, and lounging around so it's uh it's still the same cool vibe um, just more folks kind of realize that it's cool so they're there. about Opelika becoming the next arts community? Oh, I think it would be amazing. Um, especially being from the family I'm from. My dad's been working on that for a very long time and I think that um, there are a lot of people in Opelika who do support the arts and a lot of people who um, are interested in learning more and there's a lot of potential for growth and I think that um, <clears throat> even just in the last few years there's been a resurgence of people wanting to live in Opelika because it is a special place and because it is different and so I think that um, adding more artistic endeavors and more artistic people to the community would certainly um, continue to make that more and more true. Everyone for for the same kind of goal that Richard talked about and that Rob talked about. Um, and that's just to, to promote our city, that's to promote our community, and that's to um, promote kind of the, the gold mine artistically that we, that we feel like we're sitting on. The song's about that moment when you, uh, when you let it open back up again. Let it feel. Let it Writing down these words as I listen to your song. Your voice like water fall of sound. That's kind of our main focus is just to get the name Opelika out. Stone walled heart, a stone cold throne. Stone cold stares and lonely tears from the girls that I brought home.